Well, hello, everyone. It's Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. We have a cool show for you today. I've got a very, I don't want to say unique device, but a very cool device. Uh, it is a video camera. Stay tuned. You're going to like this one. He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. I'm Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Welcome aboard. We're very pleased to have you. We are on episode 205. We're rolling right along. We have a very cool episode this week, so let's get right into it. Uh, obviously, if you're tuning into the Gadget Professor, you've already figured out how to how to get us. The easiest way to subscribe to the show is just to go on iTunes. Uh, we also have a channel on the Roku box, and it's kind of neat to watch the Gadget Professor on your Roku channel. Uh, really, the easiest thing to do is just uh, go to thegadgetprofessor.com, scroll down halfway, and you'll see... Uh, uh, important pages. Click on the newsletter here, and uh, every Thursday evening, as soon as the new episode is posted in your email box, you will get all the show notes, which really is a chronology of everything that we spoke about in that particular show, and it's hot link, so uh, you can just click and uh, see the apps that we're talking about or the gadget of the day, things like that. So uh, the best thing to do, as I said, just subscribe to the show notes. We're on Facebook, uh, Facebook forward slash Gadget Professor. We'd, we'd love you to like us. That would be cool. And last but not least, uh, you can email me 24 hours a day, seven days a week at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. And if you're a Twitter follower, you can follow us at Gadget Professor, at Gadget Professor, and if you get the show notes, you'll see how to get to our Rebel Mouse page. That's really cool. So let's get into it. This is a really cool news item I just picked up on, I think a day ago. It's only been announced two days, but uh, right now, if you're a subscriber to Amazon Prime, or if you're not and become a subscriber to Amazon Prime, uh, JetBlue is going to offer free, free in-flight Wi-Fi and Amazon Prime streaming. And what that essentially means is if you're an Amazon Prime member and you're flying JetBlue, you're going to get free internet, and also you'll be able to connect to the Prime, uh, Prime movies and stream whatever they have. And they have, obviously, thousands and thousands of movies and very interesting content and uh, free streaming of, of uh, music. So... Um, there's another reason to join Amazon Prime. I think it's 99 bucks. Essentially what that does is it gives you two-day free shipping, and uh, it's a pretty good service. I've been a Prime member for many years, and uh, I buy a lot of crazy things. So uh, for me, it's, it's very well worth the 99 bucks just to have the convenience of two-day shipping because I'm in Arizona. Believe it or not, I can get same-day shipping on many items, which is Really, uh, it's almost dangerous because you can buy something at 10 o'clock in the morning, in the morning, and by 4 o'clock it's delivered to your front door. So uh, that's kind of cool. All right, let's move along here. Uh, here's some free software, some free apps for you, and this is called I call it New Cash. Uh, they might call it GNU Cash, but this is a free, absolutely free, personal and small business financial accounting software. It's freely licensed. And it's under the GNU GPL, which means it's it's Linux based. However, this will work for uh, the Mac uh, OS and uh, Microsoft Windows OS. It's totally free, and it's a very advanced program for keeping track of your expenses. GNU Cash or New Cash allows you to track bank accounts, stocks, income, and expenses. It's quick and innovative. To use as a checkbook register, it is based on professional accounting principles to ensure balanced books and accurate reports. So this is a very robust program. It has all kinds of graphs and charts and uh, scheduled transactions, financial calculators. It's totally free, and uh, it's also available for the Android. So definitely check this out if you don't want to spend a lot of money and buy uh, the other programs that are out there at a cost. This is totally free. And certainly to balance a checkbook or if you have a small business, this will absolutely do the job. Now, I don't know if you've been getting uh, calls on your cell phone. Uh, uh, I have, I call them spam calls, and they drive me nuts. Uh, in particular, I've been getting one from Florida 
uh, every other day uh, that I've won a trip and uh, I actually go in my iPhone and block the call and the next day they call they have a new number so I have like five blocked calls already but in any event uh, true caller number search and spam protection uh, have a missed call want to know who's who it is before you call them back over 100 million people use true caller to identify missed calls, search for people to get in touch with and outsmart spam callers, which drive me crazy, and keep their current contacts information up to date. You need true software. And this is totally free, and it comes in a variety of languages, and it basically will tell you uh, who's calling, and you'll be able to block the people that you perceive as spam callers. So check that out. Again, it's totally free. Here's another app, speaking of free called iFixit. This is a cool app. It's not 100%, uh, I don't want to say functional, but uh, it, there's things missing on it that you would like to see. But in general, it's a, it's a program that's totally free, and it shows you how to, how to make repairs to things, how to replace the, uh, the glass if you have a broken uh, cell phone, uh, how to change uh, the oil in your car, and just a, a variety of other to-do projects that... Uh, <clears throat> You can do yourself or at least get an idea as to what's involved, particularly if you're changing the, uh, the glass on a smartphone. This is really good for that. So there's a lot of projects on there. And if you're inclined to do things for yourself, you may want to check this app out. And if you don't like it, you can delete it because it's free. It's available both on the, uh, uh, Droid, for the Droid and for uh, uh, the iOS. So definitely check that out. Now, here's a service that... Uh, there's a couple of them that exist. This one's quite robust and has a lot of interesting features. It's called eVoice. And what this will do is allow you to add any kind of service that you desire onto your existing phone. And uh, you can have a receptionist. You can have a toll-free number. You can get a local phone number. You can have call routing. You can have a specific greeting. You can have voicemail, transcriptions, and conferencing. So they have a variety of of different services and their plans start at about $12.99 a month. So if you've ever desired an 800 number or you wanted a professional receptionist to answer your phone or a local number, uh, this company's been around for a while and really does have a very um, robust and extensive list listing of services that they provide and also a 30-day free trial. So Check out eVoice, and if you're interested in uh, enhancing the phone service that you have, you may, you may like this service. So check that out. Now, here's an interesting fact that people don't realize is that you could load old versions of software on your computer for free. And this web page called oldversion.com actually shows you what you can download and put on your computer totally free and as you can see there's a long long list there's probably a thousand programs here and the question is well why would I want an old program well the, the answer would be maybe the old program was functional for what you need to do and why pay for the latest and greatest features when you might not need them so here's the ability to load for free if the, if the manufacturer desires you to do that Windows programs Mac programs Linux games all kinds of things that quite frankly for a lot of people would suit the bill and there's also situations where you have an older machine and you wish you had an older version of software because something that's new that has been added is driving you crazy so check this site out and uh, you could pick up some pretty cool things a zone alarm is on there Adaware, CC cleaner AVG antivirus you probably want the updated version of that but there are a ton a ton of programs I see a program here called Total Commander which is essentially like Windows Explorer on steroids. Great program. Has built-in FTP. And for free, an older version of Total Commander? Absolutely. No question about it. So you might want to look into that. Now here's a cool gadget that I came upon. I do not own any of their products. I may at one point in time request a, a demo version to try it out. But it's kind of neat. It's called Rennie Home the ultimate smartphone hub and cell phone ringer. And they have three models of this. I'm not going to take the time to run their minute and 53 second video. But essentially, uh, what this will do is it will allow you to basically run your smartphone or phones, up to two phones, 
automatically in your home or your office or your business and it's like a wireless connector so essentially you're connecting up two of your smartphones or one whatever you have and wherever you are in the house this will wirelessly par that ringing sound so your cell phone could be on vibrate it could actually be turned off this will ring and you have a uh, talk free button here that you just press and it will answer the call it will tell you who's calling uh, it does the whole thing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, they're one of the one of the first in the market. The only complete uh, smartphone management system on the market, uh, with no setup costs or no monthly fees ever. The new, the all new uh, Rennie Home has all the great features you love in the Rennie Originals. I said there's three models. Additional features include even louder, clearer speaker functionality, built-in ringtones and music. You can actually stream music on this phone. A ring-only mode. And uh, let's see, built-in speaker, name announce, hands-free answer, uh, features allowing you to handle incoming calls by simply saying the word answer or ignore, that's kind of neat, uh, built-in USB charging that you can actually charge your smartphones on, and uh, it's pretty cool, particularly if you have your phone on vibrate and forgot that you do, as I do frequently. Uh, this will ring and you'll be able to get the call. And they're not too expensive. The uh, The best model they make is 149 bucks. So check it out. The uh, web page is rennie.com. Uh, and uh, it's actually called Rennie Home. So this will be in the show notes and uh, you want to check that out. And now what we're going to do is actually go into the gadget of the day. And what we have here is a Polaroid XS1000 video camera. And... This is a very cool camera, particularly at the price point. Uh, you can purchase this on Amazon for 129 bucks. If you look around, you could probably get this for a lot less. Now, why am I reviewing this? You know, everybody's saying, oh, I use the Hero. Well, first of all, the Hero is going to cost you 300 bucks plus, depending upon what version you buy. Now, is this as good as the Hero? Well, truth being, it's not. But again, at a price of 129 or less, uh, this camera will do almost, if not everything, that you want, and then some, even compared to the Hero camera. Now, that's a pretty big statement, but uh, I've run this through its paces, and uh, let's take a little bit, a little look at the functionality. First of all, I'll tell you right off the bat that this camera, just as it is right out of the box, is submersible up to 30 feet. That's right. It's waterproof right out of the box. I don't have to have a case to go on this. It's waterproof up to 30 feet. So that's really cool right off the bat. If you go swimming or surfing or in the water with the kids or whatever, you can use this camera right right as it is without worrying about protection. Now, I know you're looking at the back here and saying, uh-oh, you know, that's got to fill up with water. Yeah, it will. But what they do is they have a little cap that actually goes on the back of this device and it actually locks in there. You can see a little uh, clip, if you will, a little lever that you press down, and that will release the cap. But while that cap is on there, which you will want to have on if you're in the water, uh, this will keep it waterproof. So that that's really cool right out of the chute. Now, in terms of functionality, uh, this will shoot 720p and really good 1080p. It will do that all built into this camera. That's nice. The lens itself is about 170 degrees in terms of angle of view, which is a very nice, and I'll show you some demo video that I shot with this, gives you a very nice angle. Obviously, the camera is quite small. Uh, what I like about it is, opposed to the Hero, and I have a couple Hero cameras, and don't get me wrong, they work great. I mean, end of story, they work great, and they're almost the standard out there. However, a lot of people find it difficult to come up with 300, 400, 500 bucks for a Hero camera when you can buy this for uh, a maximum of 129. If you scout around, you can probably get these for 100 bucks. Uh, for 100 bucks, these are going to be tough to beat, really, with the functionality and the ease of use. It's just a fantastic camera, especially if you want to give a gift to someone. Uh, and it's not a it's not a cheap piece of junk. It works quite well. So let's take a look at how you turn this on. What I like about it is the buttons are right up front. They're easy to use, and there's two ways to turn the camera on. The easiest way is just by sliding this button. There's two buttons here. This is a, a an on and off button, if you will, trigger switch, and this is a forward or backward switch. You just slide it forward. So right now the camera's off. If I slide this forward, two things happen. One, this vibrates in my hand, and you can definitely feel it vibrate. And you can see the red light, I hope, 
that means that the camera is actually recording. Obviously, it's aimed up, but it is actually recording the video here right now that uh, we are recording for the podcast. So that's one way of turning it on. If you want to turn the camera off, you simply slide that lever back. It will vibrate twice, and that indicates that it's off. Now, oddly enough, the camera is still on because you can see the green light. If you want to turn it off, you hold this button here for a couple seconds, and it will turn it off. Or the other way of turning the camera on to record is you'll see the green light, which indicates the camera is, quote, on, but it's not recording. And if you push this button down for a second or two, what will happen is this will either put it in the record mode, or if you hold it for like three seconds uh, longer, it will turn the camera off, and it also vibrates. So right now, I have the camera off. If I want the camera on, uh, either slide that button forward and uh, or hold on to the uh, uh, button here on top. When it is in the record mode, you will actually see that uh, the light turns red instead of green. So you obviously know when it's recording because the light will be red. Now, that said, it comes with a lot of other features. Uh, on the bottom, it has a little tap for a mount, a tripod mount, or one of the, I think, 10 or 12 different ways to hook this up. It comes in the box with all kinds of connectors. It has a strap for your head. It has a uh, um, vertical mount, if you will. I'll show you this in detail in a minute. Uh, bicycle mount, uh, rotating mount also. Uh, you name it, it has it. This, this one, you can put straps in and strap it to whatever you want. And the centerpiece of this, of course, is this little converter piece, which quite simply, there's a little thread here, and this just turns in like so and you now have a totally connectable camera based on this so this is the bicycle mount or the pipe mount or whatever and it just slides in like so snaps in uh, that's not going anywhere and uh, you can rotate this any way that you want so all the mounting gear comes with it you don't have to buy any extra features the only thing I would caution you is that uh, this actual um, connector uh, to get this out you just squeeze and pull like that but this actual connector is plastic so that the th the treads on this uh, camera are plastic I, I wish it was metal so what I'm saying to you is you need to be very careful when you're actually inserting uh, the mount because uh, if you cross thread it this happens to be metal this is plastic if you cross thread it or don't get it right you will strip the plastic out and that's not going to be too good so uh, I've had no problems with it, but I'm careful when I put that in. You may want to put just a little, little, little uh, uh, piece of uh, Vaseline, if you will, on a Q-tip, just a very small amount, and swab it in there so it keeps the whole uh, treading de device, if you will, the mechanism in there, uh, moist so it doesn't uh, lock up. It's just a thought. Or you could probably use some WD-40, but just, just a little bit in there. Now, on the back is where all the connectivity takes place and uh, I will tell you that the top of this is actually for a uh, an SD card I it takes a micro card and I, I have to admit I'm not a big fan of the micro cards and I'll tell you why they work fine but it's a teeny teeny SD card and that just goes in there like so and that's how you basically record your medium you know the video this will take photographs of course all you have to do is just uh, push down once and release it like that and it actually takes a, a still frame so it, it will work quite well for still frames so that, that's kind of an added bonus now why I don't like the SD cards is because the micro SD cards is because when you pull that out you have to put it into a mic, uh, uh, and a mini adapter and then this adapter has to slide in yet to an SD adapter so there's three little pieces that you have to have and it's kind of annoying but not that big of a deal if you don't want to use the internal SD card to pull it out and put it into your machine to get your medium off. On the back here, they have a uh, USB port, and this is how you charge the battery that's inside of this. The battery will last about two hours ish, uh, depending upon the weather conditions and all that. If it's hot outside, you're going to get less time. If it's cold, you'll get a little bit more time, but approximately two hours. So you would be charging the device via this USB plug, and that would the other end, of course, would go into a power supply adapter or into your computer or whatever. You also have the ability through this USB port to connect the actual device 
to your uh, computer or uh, however you want to drag the data off, this will allow you to access the data that's on this card. So you can just plug this device directly into your computer, whether it's Mac or PC, and instantaneously uh, you will see and be able to drag and drop and use all the video that you've actually recorded. So that's kind of nice. The other thing that this has is a, a switch that will allow you to click into 720p or 1080p, and it does a nice job. It really does it recording in both those modes. Other options that this has, or not options, but other functionality it has is an HDMI cord, and you might be saying, why does it have a, an HDMI cord on it? Well, what's really cool about this is if you plug the HDMI cable into this, which would look something like this, so... This is a mini connector here, and it's going to go right into the uh, uh, HDMI port here, like so. And when that clicks in there, and you put the other end into your computer, if your computer will take it, the, an HDMI input, this becomes a phenomenal, really cool webcam. So this has the ability in the preview mode to A, record if you want onto this, both video and audio, because there's a microphone built in, or you can use this as a really cool wide-angle webcam. So if you're traveling and have your laptop, and if your device, your laptop will take in an HDMI feed, uh, you've got a great webcam here. So a lot of functionality built into this. It will take video. It will take stills. Uh, two hours battery time, waterproof. It really has all the things that one would want. You also have the added ability uh, when you plug this into your computer, on the disk itself, it has software that will allow you to change the resolution. Uh, it has an automatic feature that will turn the image right side up. So if I go like this, the camera is going to be upside down. If, and what happens is it knows it is, and it flips it around, which is a very cool function. I like that a lot. But you have the ability to engage or disengage all that functionality with the software that's supplied on this. Now, the software that's supplied on this just says Polaroid.exe. If you have a Mac, you have to go to the Polaroid site, which is no big deal, and download the actual um, software for the Mac and put that on the, on the SD card. So the software for this uh, is actually internal in this device, and when you put the SD card in, it automatically transfers that onto the card. Not a big deal and very simple to operate. And that's the basics of the camera. Now let's take a look at some footage that I just shot uh, of my back yard. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, this does a relatively decent job for the price. Uh, it's tough to beat this. It's rock solid. It, it, it's, you can drop this and it won't break or anything. It really is shock absorbent. Uh, the only thing I'm not thrilled about uh, is there's no lens cap that comes with that, and that kind of bugs me a little bit. And the other thing is, if you've noticed on the video, and I think I pointed it out to you, that because of the angle of the view of this lens, uh, you will tend to get some lens flare up here and there, which some people actually like. They feel it enhances the, the look and texture of the video. Uh, some people don't like it, but not much you can do about it. You probably could get a, a piece of polarizing uh, uh, gel, polarizing gel, and cut a little piece and kind of tape it on there if you're really upset about the, uh, the, the lens flare. It's not that big of a deal to me, and it doesn't matter. Uh, the built-in microphone works really well on this. I have no complaints about that. So in general, I think it's a very good value. If you happen to go to Amazon, it's, uh, it's prime. You get it in two days, uh, two-day free shipping. It's 130 bucks, and it, it really is pretty feature-packed. It's uh, 4.8 ounces, so it's light. Uh, this makes, I think, a great 
graduation gift. Uh, it's reasonably priced, and if you don't want to shell out 300 plus bucks for the Hero camera, is this a decent replacement for it? Yeah, it is. Does the Hero camera work better and give you higher quality and more functionality and flexibility? Yes, it does to a point. But again, if you're looking for a, a, a I don't want to say a cheap, but an economical way out that you won't be disappointed with, uh, I have total confidence in this Polaroid camera. And as I said, it makes a great webcam. Well, that will wrap it up today for the Gadget Professor. Uh, I just noticed here it does come with a case. The case is really cheesy, really cheesy, but it works, but it works. Uh, in any event, that will wrap it up today for the Gadget Professor. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see everybody next Thursday. So long from the Gadget Professor. The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.